Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm Kurigo and we have done a beautiful, beautiful mission in the last episode. Well, mission arc of Dana. And now we are going to go for Flip Osprey. What up, friends? Flip Osprey here. You Bulu, give me your number. That cave painting pic you took was solid. Want more work? Want more dollars? Show me something with has was slash actually not hashtag wildlife snap your best photo of any animal in zonga show me you're the real deal well let's go be a photograph i have seen the light my boys i have seen over yonder a cape buffalo that we did hunt before but yeah that's that I mean, let's get going, right? You know, snap, uh, snap, snapping pictures is just like hunting, man. You've got to be patient, you've got to be accurate, and you have to have some certain skill for it, or else, you know, it might look like a modern piece of art, and that's not good, right? Wait a minute, it said any animal, right? That's what I mean. Come on, just fly up. Oh, there you are. Ah, oh, it does not count. Let's go sneaky breaky then. Sneaky breaky of dumpy boys. Don't be flying right now. I'm the real deal, real professional picture right here, isn't it? He said any anymore. Oh! Of course. <laughs> Wait a minute, was that one? Nope. Alright, I do think that, that is a little bit too far away though. Oh no, it's not. Wow, okay, big boy, sure. That's a cover shot right there, pal. Noise. Let's see. You track and spot specific species. Spot a blue uh, wildebeest. Spot a lesser kudu. Okay. Spring box, of course, of course. Ay, 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 ay. This is a small little personal trophy, right, you know? And the meat goes right to the tribes around here. You still have to do some population control of these beauties. Not bad. Didn't stand a chance though, huh? Oh, there are no water spots there anymore, you know, like uh, populated. That's bad. Very bad because that's where the the wildebeest is. The blue wildebeest, yeah. Couple of gem box over there. Nothing that we want. Just keeping our eye open for something big, right, you know? And then one day we will succeed. I'm I'm a little I'm a little bit in a hurry right here because it's past nine and there's a lake over here and they do drink till nine, so we're already way too late there by an hour, but they might still diddle diddle around, you know. There we go. Well, uh, blue wildebeest. And lesser kudu. Lesser kudus are around here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Different time zone, but a hey, good reason to go, right? You know, we might not be where they are sleeping right now, where they are drinking, but it's the region that matters. It's kind of funny, right, that they call the... Uh the Cape Buffaloes, actually Widowmakers. We had a mission because of that, and I totally believe it, man. You know, they are way more aggressive than lions. How many times were we ambushed by a buffalo that charged at us out of nowhere, right? So often, man. It is a massive surprise that so far we have not been attacked by, by, an, uh, by a lion so far, right? These guys, these Cape Buffaloes, yeah, they are widow makers. True and true. But the joke's on them, though. I'm not married. 
Little bunny, little bunny, little bunny. Go run before you end up in a, in a stew or something. I learned a beautiful recipe from three trolls in the book Lord of the Rings The Hobbit. Oh yeah. But the difficulty of the recipe is to find the dwarf and of course, well a couple of dwarves and a hobbit. There was something over here. Oh, there you go. That's a kudu. Nice. Dang, buddy. Erin, welcome to the big league. First official gig is mad easy. Hook me up with a photo of the Fakile Kuifi. Okay, so lake. The dirty lake that Nyabulu cleaned. All right. Let's see where it is. The dirty lake that Nabulu cleaned. Well, could be anywhere. Ah, right there. Could be anywhere, but it's right there. Alright, because it's a picture that we have to snap, hopefully we only have to snap a picture of the lake. But off we are with the ATV. Nice, I'm going to probably build that. Here we go. Buffalo's to the right. Now what do we have to do? Take a picture of uh, the lake. Yep, uh, let's do it. But let's first build it. So maybe we can build another one nice from there. Ay, 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 ay. Not the best shot, though, apparently. Really? My boy. Let's put it on 50 meters then. And let's put it out of its misery. There you go. No, really? My god. There we go. Now it's the double. <laughs> Man. What a tough cookie. Ooh, that must have hurt, man. Yeah, if you eat something very bad, your your balls, they are really destroying you. Yeah, that's that on steroids. All right. Yeah. That's not good. That is not good, though. We either zoom in too much or do we have it all on our little camera. I will go here, nice low, and boom. There you go. Ferrarity pack. Hmm. This is how it's done, chum. Alright, next up, I got a variety pack. Needs clear photos of three animals. Springbox, scrub here, and lesser kudu. Okay, then. Oh, I did see one, I believe. There we go. There we go, that's one. The most difficult one, I might assume. And now a springbok and a lesser kudu. The lesser Kudu, hopefully he's still there in the bushes, right? You know, that would be very nice. Because then we only have to sneak up or call it over to us. And we are fine. Oh, boy. Yeah, there goes my chance with that one. I had my camera in my hands. I was looking around, though. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Tough look. Yeah, Peggy, you can cry all you want, though, but I don't see where the animal is. And she's quiet now. So, of course, the animal is gone. Let's just go down. Lesser kudu. Now we can only hope, right, for the best. Apparently, the best is around. Come on, quick. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Look at you. Did we just... Yeah, he did shit himself, though. Understandable. Because we already did embarrass that one. 
We do not have to hunt it, all right? <laughs> oh, we did miss though. But yeah, you know, like, hey, if if you can make them shit themselves, then uh, it's already worth more than enough, I suppose. All right, there's one. I'm not sure how close we have to be, right, you know, but closer than this, obviously, obviously. She was ready for some mating, so the best thing we can actually do right now is tell Peggy to go off. Go there, keep on walking, and springwalk. Sneak up. Oh, it's on oh, it's on its way already though. It was jumping around there somewhere. Up there she comes. Nice. It sadly does not count yet, so let's be patient. I would not accept this either for an album that or a magazine that I would make, but oh well. Mm, boom. There you go. Mm, giggity. Hot diggity dog, partner. You keep coming through for me. Of course, of course. After all, we are a gentleman. Now, want to do some extracurricular hunting. Office tree scrub hairs downed with a shotgun. I like that. All right, let's go for it, boys. Oh, wait a minute, half well five done. springbok in Fuxa. All right. You can give the springbok herd an extra push by hunting them periodically. And don't forget to spook them. You'll know you have mastered your approach when you can get within 50 meters before spooking them. Easy peasy mode, man. Easy peasy. Well, you are in the Fuxa. We have gotten reports of traps that need dismantling. Maria Moweni. Well, Maria and Bowini, you have to wait, though. There you go. I think hunting these scrub hairs might be the easiest thing ever. The reason for that logical thinking <laughs> is, though, is that they are very slow. And buckshot is very quick, and it spreads wide. Well, buckshot, that is, I meant. There we go. And here we are. The Bookshot King. At your service, boys. Let's go. Let's tear them apart. Although it sounds very cruel. But I think it's all right, you know. I think it's all right. It's not Stellaris where there is a billion scale mass genocide going on on a daily basis. Just for casual people that likes to do that, right, you know. Sometimes you have to take a little break from real life, you know. <laughs> I like Star Stellaris. It's an interesting game, man. It's so different from a lot of other ones. That's a total miss, though, but that's all right. Let's be a little bit wilder here. Let's just chase after them. There, I see another one right there. At least I did see some more. Oh, my God, I got it? Dude. <laughs> Perfect. Did it count? Yes, it did. I did see one over here. I did see some, some, some pixels move in between. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, I see you, little bunny. So the miss, I think. <gasps> is it? It is not a miss. It is not a miss. Golden trophy even, huh? No organs. I believe there was another one around here somewhere. I'm trying to jump to see... Anything walking around, right, you know? But apparently no. Now I do know where we were before, right over here. There are some scrub boys too around. 
Springbok, Springbok, doesn't matter. Springbok, Springbok, oh my god, Springbok paradise around here, huh? Let's go, because in this region, there's some beautiful little bunnies or little hares too. Oh, is that a little bunny there? I think it's a rock though. I'm not going to shoot that, of course. Not with uh, bird shot. Not good at all. Not good at all. We, we can pepper it up nicely though, but... Yeah, it might walk away though. It might walk away with a lot of pepper all over it. It's not a burglar, so I'm not okay with that. Okay, right over here we have some. At least we had some. They're sprinting away, so hopefully we still can uh, catch them with the eyeballs. But it might be difficult with all the scrubs around. Oh, yeah, there is one. Let's just keep on going. Until we are 100% certain that we have one, right? You know, I kind of like this type of dumbass hunt, right? You know, where we are just going to run around and chase after the bunny while... It, you know, like while going crazy. It, it just reminds me of Bugs Bunny and stuff like that, right? You know, with the... Uh, what, what was the hunter called? I forgot the hunter's name, though, but man. It, it was silly, right? Just following the little track over here. Oh, yeah, there. Whoa, what was that? Sayonara, goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen and doei. Bon voyage. You ain't no joke. If we only did see us hunt, right? Uh, Hunter, I'll send you pics of the finished diorama later. Now, here's a more somber assignment. Turvo to Furhunga Plateau. Yeah, very somber indeed. There we are. Oh my god, it's so somber. Take a picture of the weeping face. Take a picture of, uh, of the Furhunga Plateau bridge. Okay, that is... Ultra somber, of course. It was around here. So somber we fell down from it. Yep. I remember the ankle sprain that we got from it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we are so lucky that we didn't land on our ass. Our spine would have been crushed. Not only our hips, though, but wow. Now, I am almost certain that we have to go all the way to the top of the bridge. And make a picture like that. But we will see, right? We will see. First, the weeping boy on the wall and then we are going to find out all right here we are and nice and now the bridge doesn't count i knew it i knew it let's make a beautiful picture right like that sadly you cannot see though uh the missing planks right because we did fall through it it would be a good reminder of anybody who sees this right you know now it's time for the big refuel i will pay you big dollars for participating half as an animal down by a hard shot from at least 75 meters away half as two spring bot down with a shotgun i mean both are super simple man I kind of want to utilize shotguns a little bit more though, right, you know? But I think we always do need a beautiful rifle here. What was it? An animal? Yep, alright. Well, maybe this is the lucky one. No more trouble. No more worries. No more injuries. No more fear. Just turn your head over here. There's actually one reason why I never get tourists, by the way. They are buying things from, let's say, well, whatever country they are in, right? But let's say this Savannah right now, right? Why? Do you know how dumb that is that you actually do buy anything like that? It's the dumbest thing ever. Think about it. Everything is made in China. Oh my, we have some rain here today, huh? Oh yeah, the landscape is quite dark still though. I like it. I love it even. Beautiful, I have to say. Right to see some rain for once here. 
chasing, yeah, sure. Will be difficult to get a hard shot, but let's first scan around, right? I know that they're around here. Oh, 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 there was something already. Will be will the beast around. Not right now, though, but that's alright. Now let's find, find, find. Come on, boys. Ah, oh, right there. And we... Well, we better check right where he might be. Okay, 200. Mm, difficult shot, though, but that's all right. Hey. Not even close to it. Not even close to it, though. Just look at the sunrise over there. Beautiful. It is special though, so red and everything. Oh yeah, like a little picture, right? Or like one of those old school MS-DOS games when it's set in Africa, like the Lion King. What an annoying game that was. <laughs> it truly was though. Alright, there are a couple of little bunnies over here. And I... Oh, it was on 75! Oh my god, that was a mistake then, huh? Let's just chill out here a little bit. Peggy's also, you know, staring at me like, 75 meters, man, even I can do it better with my paws. But let's go and try to get a hard shot right there. I mean, the round... <laughs> we could actually go for the nitro with max penetration, right? No, not max penetration, but max expansion. But here we are. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. It's so difficult, man. We are so bouncy here. Let's just go like this. Yeah, that helps. Right, like that. Oi. No, it moved. Damn it. Little bit more bunnies. Oh, they are, but they are all on the run. But if we are lucky, we can even destroy their hearts, so. Alright, let's see what's going on. Oh, it turned to the left. No! Yes, that's a hit. Of course it is. One was overshot. Not good. And then he just went into a different direction, man. I do like that. I do like it because the AI knows what humans do, right? You know, pre-aiming and stuff like that. Just go in a different direction. It's awesome. And by the way, we have a new shotgun. Yeah, this lever shotgun. It is weird, man. But yeah, it's a shotgun. Not a typical one that I associate with. Probably one of the Wild West era styles, right, you know. But uh, man, I do like it. It has brass rounds and it is good. Penetration is quite good. Different rounds too. For all across the sphere of... The difficulty ratings of eats and yeah we want to utilize the shotguns a little bit more and i hope at least the higher ones over here are good against buffaloes too or bisons right we will have to find out little bunny yeah not in the heart and neither in the heart either. Oh, well, that's okay. Very small targets, right, you know? It's kind of interesting that the round that we did shoot did not penetrate further, but oh well. It is a curiosity. Sometimes with it should just blast right through the leg, though. Man, that sounds kind of dark, but you know what I mean? But no, no, no. The 7mm just penetrated the skin of the little bunny leg. Aha! Little bunny, little bunny, why do you look so funny to me? Oh, where? There. Yeah. 
Oh, did you see him sprint right when I was clicking? My my finger was just pressing down and he went off. That's okay. That's okay. We got one little bunny. That might be a hard shot. If not, we will get another one. We also have to uh, get some spring box. So we have plenty of chance, right? You know, plenty of chance. Plenty of choice too. We just take anything that we do see on our path. No, 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 no. Yep, the heart. There you go. Beautiful. And two springboards, Bok with a shotgun. Nothing easier than that. Little bunny again. But over here are some gem box by the water. Right around the curvature. Yeah, we are walking downhill, so I cannot see them right now. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, there they are. As you can see. Now, what is the maximum range of this? 50 efficiency rates. Yeah. 150 we can aim at though so i'm very curious to see how powerful this one is so let's go with it did we actually hit you i don't think we did hit them though but that's okay let's just keep on going and see if we did or not it's a new rifle it's a new shotgun type right you know we got to get the experience going Oh, interesting. I don't like that it's a ball, right? Because is it on the tip of the ball? Or is it where the ball is that we have to shoot? Hmm? Certain rifles are different. I would always go for the tip itself. It's a shame that this one is quite alone, though. But also very fortunate for us. Now, let's see. Wrong one. We have to do it with a shotgun. Hopefully... Well, this was in the category shotgun, but... Hopefully it truly is in the category shotgun too. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> it is difficult though, right? To, to play with a shotgun itself. Wow. We didn't even hit it. We didn't even hit it. I do like it though. I do like the challenge, but... My, oh my, oh my, we really have to be close. I'm not going after that one because I did see one over there too, 300 meters away. Hopefully. Ah, oh, there you go. Attentive. There's a little bunny to the right, hopping right there. Yep. Now let's see how it goes, right? Ay, 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 the shotgun is not for, well, I mean, technically there's a shotgun out there that is like a rifle, it just shoots a massive slug. It should be considered a rifle though, but it is actually shooting a slug. And it's just like, like a special rifle, right? So there are possibilities, but it is not made for it, you know? Springbok, I will call you forth. And this time we are going to be a little bit more patient, though. Bye-bye. Oi! No! Down you go. Wow! This ball pen tip, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so not used to it. So not used to it, though. It was 50 to 60 meters. I should have hit it beautifully, though. I should... Actually, while I did, though, I will check it out where exactly I did aim, though, right, you know? But here we are. It's massive penetration, though. Weirdly enough, it goes through both lungs, as you can see. Right through the tip here. But sadly, it does not register it. All right, doesn't matter. Only one more little springbok. This one returns. 
And this time we are going to get her. Absolutely. Uh, uh, don't run, don't run. Come on, Springbok. Here we are. It was just one of your own people. Being very, very cautious through those brushes with full sprint. Don't you worry about it. Very cautious. Yeah, there she is though, so let's be nice and patient. I think we can handle her. Hmm, 100 meters. Okay, so it's a little bit like, not the tip of the, the ball, just the ball itself. Interesting. Interesting indeed. No! You are down, aren't you? You are wounded. Yep, down she goes. Hmm, okay, so I had her behind the ball aim. So that means, depending on where we did hit her, although it's a hundred meter, right? 40 meters more, we have to keep that in balance. But if it is at the bottom, then we know we aim too high. Right, no. Huh. Where? No feedback at all, though. <laughs> Not that it matters now, but we have it. Comrades, you are red. We're gonna like it, this next assignment. It's a fishing test. Harvest an animal down from at least 75 meters away with a scopeless rifle and earn a quick kill bonus of 100. Easy peasy mode. Okay, there we go. 150 meters. Bam. Oh boy. Now it's dead. Yep. All right, let's go, boys. Beautiful. The first one we did sadly overshot, though, but easy correction, right? Easy correction. All right, what about you, big boy? Nice. He got totally hit there. But now it depends on where he got hit. All right, there you go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 200 meters distance it was, by the way. So, let's see its body and let's check the impact. Will we get it, though? Will we get it? There you go. Golden shot. Not bad either. And there we go. Whoa, Rifle Master. You just threw down the gauntlet. So, here's my gauntlet in response. My danger action gauntlet. Her body is so ready. Half as an animal downed in a single shot by a handgun. Half as an animal downed with, uh, within 35 meters with a shotgun. And half as an animal downed by a hard shot using a bow. My boy, though, he is ready for a lot of action, right? You know, he's throwing these things at us like there is no tomorrow. But by that, I also want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.